This is the Burgantino Forte HP, one of the most well thought through base amps I've ever come across. So let's check it out. Hi, my name is Gregor Fries and today I'm once again accompanied by my friend Lars Lehmann and his sweet, sweet grooves. And here we have the 40 HP by Burgantino, which was sent to me by Burgantino. A few weeks back, we reviewed the 40D from Burgantino, this amp here, which impressed me on many levels. It's a simple usability, the direct straight tone. It's just an awesome sound and it's just, it's so good on many levels. But honestly, let's put this away because the one that we got today is just... If you haven't seen the 4TD video yet, I highly recommend to watch this one first, just to get an idea of what the idea and the basic concept of this amp line is. Uh, I won't repeat everything in this video, so uh, click maybe here first. The Forte HP is based on the exact same concept, but it allows for much more manipulation of details. You just heard a distortion in the last sound sample, and that's because this amp has different drives built in. The first one is gentle as in the Forte D, but the second one that you engage by pressing this button here a little bit longer is, yeah, it's just whatever you, you want it to be. Here's a digital input, and with a USB hard drive, you can install lots of different distortions, overdrives, and fusses that you can download from the Burgantino website. It's a fully digital amp that allows these things, and so much more. I would call them modern twists that first came unexpected to me, but then I asked myself why no one else ever did this before. Here's the foot switch, so let's engage the drive. Well, you ask, why is there no cable? Yeah, welcome to Burgantino. <laughs> The Forte D has a built-in parallel compressor, which is rather subtle and sounds just great to my ears. Here in this amp, you can control it fully and even disengage it if you don't like compression at all. Let's check the other controls. On the left we have this array of four of them around the big master volume. There's the compression underneath the gain, then the drive on the right and below a variable low pass filter, which becomes super useful if you want to get rid of top end in a proto sense. We'll get back to this later. Then comes the counterpart, the high pass filter. This one is only for the cabinet out, it won't affect the DI signal. This is a great tool if you're experiencing an unpleasant boominess in the room you would like to get rid of. And then we have our usual four band EQ. Now let's hear a different drive from the Burgantino library and this one comes from the Vintage Fuzz family. <laughs> On the right we have three mini switches above the USB port. Each one has a primary and a secondary function that you engage just as the drive by pressing shorter or longer periods of time. First we have the punch that I think should be on at all times. I think it sounds always better when it's engaged. With this button you can also switch the DI out on the back from pre to post EQ. This is followed by the bright option which allows you to boost either 2kHz which is great for P bases or 7K if you want to access some of that upper top end. 
Third is the mute, which also switches the impedance of the amp from 2 to 4 ohms. We have recorded the punch and the bright options, but to be honest, on all recordings, this is a rather subtle change, so I won't bother to show this to you. And let me just show you instead something else that's also, I think, much more important. But maybe let's hear it first. The combination of the compressor, the low pass filter, the drive and the punch make things possible that I personally find very fascinating. This is what some people would refer to as an hi-fi amp. It's an amp that just brings out a picture of exactly what you're sending in with all the little sound nuggets and all the little details still intact. These type of amps aren't particularly popular in combination with distortion or any other kind of muffled up vintage kind of sounds, because those are very often about mids and about saturation. But the combination of controls that I just mentioned and of course the EQ together, they make these things possible. And uh, if you like vintage amps, I can just promise you, uh, you will be absolutely delighted by the sounds the Forte HP can produce. When it comes to amps, I'm a minimalist and the Forte D with its few controls is just exactly in my ballpark. But after fiddling around with this one for a few weeks, now I've come to realize I would personally much rather prefer this chameleon that can become anything. If you feel like me in this way, but you think it's still too big, check out the Burgantino B amp. This here is a more physical version of this amp. The other one works much more with presets, digital profiles and such things. Also very interesting and hopefully we get to review this one too. I'm absolutely fascinated what Trim Burgantino has put together here. These amps are just stunning. Long video, it's hot. I'm sweating, uh, I don't even have an outro for you because we used all of them during the video already. Uh, so I will just finish with thanks for watching, subscribe, like this video, see you next time, bye bye. <laughs>